found out Brad Pitt is my new number one fan. I love that. I just found that. Why did Benji put his glasses on? Because he's, he's the writer? Fuck. What the fuck, he's Benji? The what is happening? I'm trying to look like Peter Shore. So we have... Around here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get any respect. <laughs> um, ask Peter. He'll tell you. And, we have uh, the same sunglasses. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> um, Benji Aflalo is sitting in as my co-host because this is during the day and we have Tony Hinchcliffe. But we were going around your schedule because we were excited to chaos. have you. Little baby boy has got a fucking. I mean, you hit docket. the lottery, but yeah. I, I but you've hit the lottery prior to this. You know that, right? I made the lottery prior to okay, this. I okay. built my own little bingo system right. out there on the streets, but you, now I hit the public lottery. Right, but. You're 17 punk? years of work and five minutes of just fucking cum shot. That's what it was. How? 17 years of edging and then five years of blasting <laughs> right down fucking the barrel of the world's most streamed, you know, comedy event ever. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And people are loving it. Before like, I do the second most streamed live event ever this Friday, at, tomorrow at the forum. I'm very excited for this. Com. The replay is available for three weeks. You buy the $35 bundle pack, you get two Kill Tony glasses, coasters, and a pin. Wow. Look at me. Just a Wait a second. So here. it only stays up for a few, a little bit and then, and then it, it goes down? it drops on YouTube four weeks later for free. The edited- Oh, uh, I see what you're the, saying. The, Got you it. You won't get to see Holtzman's. Uh, you, the words will be bleeped. Right. You won't get to see some very special things that we have lined up from okay. some some of your favorite people ever. In the just Tony yelling the, the N-word and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You won't get it. You won't get it. it. Yeah. You don't get, get to see it, it guys. Don't, don't, get to see it. don't fuck around. <laughs> Ari Shafir's Do got it. something up his sleeve or under his pants. Ari always does, yeah. which is kind of disgusting, mm -hmm. but also entertaining love it. a lot of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. We hired the director from the UFC, so it's like a state of the art production. That's fucking incredible. Giant cameras on fucking. You're going to be there, right? I'm going, yeah. I'm excited and about this. Let me tell this. you, when I saw that roast the other day, I think I told Richie, but I don't think I got to tell you this yet. But my adrenaline dump when I was sitting there was so extreme. I, I Kevin could Hart, see it. I Kevin feel Hart it. is going on and on yeah. and on. And I don't know if you remember this, but it was like a minute after I had like sat down. And I swear to God, like nobody in the audience I had do. faces, even though I've performed in many arenas and done all these cool things. There was something about that fucking moment where I looked out there and I saw you and fucking Richie's retarded asses like, just like, you did it. And, <laughs> and, it, and then like all of a sudden it all became clear, like, oh my God, that just happened. Yeah. But it was literally like looking at you. Yeah, because we wouldn't be like, in your dreams. Yes, exactly. I'm like, oh my. <laughs> My oh God. boy, reality it's set real. in. It's real. We just fucking did it. Like I could feel your guys' fucking home team excitement. Yeah. You watched the fucking 22-year-old that you well, met yeah, I, turn into, exactly. I'm a month away from 40 now. Holy and, shit. And We're all going to be dead soon. Yeah, we are. Can't wait. But like, look, we came so far from you helping me get my job here at the comedy store, telling Dean Gelber, he's a good kid. Give him a shot. <laughs> Tommy what? likes him. You, you well, just give him give him a chance. To I, I had Tommy, like. but I needed your vote because Dean hated me. Now everyone Dean, hated fuck, you. Everyone so, hated me. Wow, you kept that going all these years too. <laughs> oh, so we, many people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, like, why did they hate you in the beginning? Because you're cocky, cocky. I, I loved it. Cocky, I it was funny. honest. Yeah, no, I, I was funny. And not everyone hated you. I wasn't cocky because I sucked. So it was like it was. I was confident that I was confident. going to get better. That was the thing. And people are like, I think there was just an overall attitude of up here. It's because so many people start other places and then come here. Yeah. But I, this is literally my, the, my this week, two days ago was my 17 year anniversary. Yeah, you told me that the other night. And I was so her. like, I came here to start. So yeah. I think a lot of people are like, that guy fucking sucks, but he's like so happy to be here and be part of it. I, you know, he seems more like a fan probably I seemed like than yeah. an actual comedian. Because I came here to start. I wanted to swim with the big fish and fucking learn good habits instead of, I realized immediately if I get- You get some bad habits here, but you, yeah, do, but if I realized, you stick to the course, you get some- I realized immediately that if I went to the Haha -ha Cafe and marinated for three months and then came here, I would still be starting from scratch. Like, yeah, I, see I think it's almost- Worse for your confidence. Did you not do any Speaking of Speaking of marinating at the ha, ha do not <laughs> do not try their ceviche. It is <laughs> wait a minute. That is weird. That's a weird Sorry, so that's funny. a weird segue, and I kind of like it. So I do funny. like it. 
But because uh, that's what I wanted to do the whole thing about Benji writing on the roast mm -hmm. and you and like, did you guys work together? Did you work separately? Well, did you I have worked, writers? Did you have help? I worked super, super separately. I prepared for okay. a very long time. But then yeah, when you I were got running here, it at the mothership, exactly the mothership and all my shows on the road. I had phones locked up at all these venues. Perfect. So it was. Um, you know, it was it was very, 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 very well planned out. But Benji uh, is literally a huge part of the reason why I was able to get up on the stage. Yeah. Leave that table. He was one of the few people in the room when I'm literally pitching yeah, to the executive producer, like, please don't. Stay. If you stick me at this desk, I'm so overqualified. They, they wanted him to roast sitting at the table. Hey, yeah. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Look at this guy. Look at this oh, guy right that's here. that's messed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, and like, they had already said, no, it's a desk piece. And I'm like, oh, come on. And I go, am I crazy? Or, I mean, this is what it would kind of look like. And then, so I started to show them some of my jokes for the first time, even though I didn't want to, because I know that there's writers yeah, 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 watching yeah. on screens in the back. I know how the sausage is made. Of course. But him, he had my back and jokes. You're the only person on the writing staff who, uh, the uh, the little runner on Gronk. He looks like the Nazi that burns himself on the ovens. He looks like the final boss in George Floyd, the video video game. Like I yeah. knew these. He knows my thing. I'm yeah, like Benji. Yeah. I like short yeah, and quick. fucking the. I like the ones that everybody else is afraid to do. Yeah. That's what I like. And he had those two, and I'm like plug in, plug in, in between these other Fuck Gronk yeah. jokes and fucking. And it, the story is <laughs> just unbelievable to me and Benji. I Because he started around the same time, correct? Or you, were you oh, before yeah. or we after? We all started together. But when it comes to roast writing, he was always such a great roaster. And there wasn't yeah. roast battles and there wasn't shit going mm -hmm. on back then. I was lucky to be able to, you know, have approached Jeff Ross and get to exchange emails and start the process right. of getting in the roast world. And he was my first pick for this guy should write a packet. And he wrote an unbelievable packet and has literally had a full-time writing career ever since. Since then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he used to let me sleep on fucking air mattresses in his parents' real <laughs> estate houses and stuff. I would yeah, go yeah. plug in and air. He was like always such a great friend. We always believed in each other. Of course. I always loved the fact that he came from, we came from two totally different backgrounds. And we all come from oh, different backgrounds oh, but, than Benji. You oh, know that. Well, I mean, come on, yeah, look at him. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> look at him. He's wearing but I, sunglasses but, but inside. It, it's funny. He's like the opposite <laughs> to me. He's always been the opposite of a rich kid. It's like, exactly. he's like one of us. Totally. But you can feel it a little bit off him. I no? was raised by people who grew up very poor. My yeah. dad was born in Morocco and my mom's from Boyle Heights. That's amazing. They didn't raise me, you know. And his maid raised him, so. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't raise me. I was raised by Jewish Republicans. That's not like, most Jews are like, we went to college and now our kids go to therapy. It wasn't like that. Yeah, you're like, like, nah, we're not doing that. It wasn't That's like insane that. though. Yeah. Um, so when you got here, was he one of the first people you met? Or no, not? I got here a little later and everyone hated me. Everyone hated you too? What is it, your group? <laughs> Yeah, because well, your, your fucking class yeah. was the darkest energy. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah. You're one of yeah, the only guys... ones that survived. Everybody else is pumping gas out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, Hold the, on yeah. a second. There were a lot of good, great guys, but the class before us was dark energy. And oh, our yeah. class was like, we were hugging each who, other, so being who was, nice. Like Ingram? Yeah. Like Rick? No, like, no I'm not going to say any names. No, but Ingram's Rick great. There were classes. There were just... There True, was, but I mean, like, I'm saying like, we would fuck with people. one of the elite paid regulars when we got here. True, but It was like a crew of dudes talking shit about Whitney Cummings nonstop and I'd be right. like you know she has a career and you're all fucking losers oh, right I see what yeah. you're saying they were just like dark shit there was, there, was, there was there was a lot okay. of people that said that this place was gonna be a parking lot and we were all like oh, no it's not at them. Yes, no yes, it's yes, not yes, we're yes, gonna make yes. it great and they're like yeah. oh you're gonna make it great <laughs> oh, what are you gonna have people what are you gonna have people coming here on a Monday night for something what are you gonna be able to fill the main room every Monday There's are you gonna change the economy of the club you. And I said they have to you hurry up. <gasps> oh shit! He just wants to say hi to you. Here, you do it because I don't. I'd oh you my hear. god! My I'll get fucking the, the, the fucking up. the oh, man god. himself. What the fuck? I love this. My there he is. <laughs> There's the man I'm proud of. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> don't say shit at this time. If I'm yes. talking to the Tom Jones of comedy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got. We got the prince and the king together. Damn right. And I'm just hanging at home, doing nothing, eating chicken. And I get the call 
from Eleanor that the Dark Prince is going to be on. Hell yeah. You know, huh? see, this is a guy that listens, babe. Yeah. This is a guy. Tony T. Henchcliffe. Yeah. What's my the guy. What T stand for? You're my, you're my guy, <laughs> Dice. I bend the knee to my dear king. It is an honor for you to call Let's, in. That That's right. Listen to me here. <laughs> Number one, we'll talk about your T-shirts in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's one of the reasons I'm calling. Remember you gave me the T-shirt? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I wore it to the gym, but then they shrink up. I need like at least a dozen so I can wear them like this all the time. No problem. Don't you dare. No problem. No, but what uh, I'm, yeah. I want to say how proud, you know, the variety cover, mm -hmm. so strong. Thank you. You should really be proud. I mean, it is now official. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank you. It's Dice. unreal. You're yeah. doing the, when's the forum? Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. You want to swing by? <laughs> this fuck here. I'm not there. I'm in New York. Well, come on. I'll get you a jet right now. I swear to fucking God, I will pay for a jet. Understand? I'm in New Take York. Up on I'm it. in the city. You know, you know, um, no, I'm not, I can't come there right now. <sighs> okay. I'll I can't, but I'm excited. You know, I don't want to say I did the forum first. <laughs> I don't want to say that. You just did, though. You know, but, so forget Damn. I even said that. But I yeah. did, and you're going to love it. Yeah. And, well, he, he you just, know, he I, just I know rocked it at the Brady Roast there. He just fucking changed his whole no, life I, at the Brady Roast, at the forum. No, but let me tell you something. I'm hearing about that. In New York, what you did mm -hmm. and how you absolutely leveled the room. So, and me and you were talking about it, you know, in Texas, what's going on with you. Yep. You know what I mean? You understand, like I understand what it all needs to be, which we're not going to tell other people because we're on a podcast. Yep. But look what's going on with you now. You all excited? Oh, man. I'm it's gone to the level. I'm Talk fucking. To me. I'm fucking pumped. And the and the and, and to be honest with you, you know, I'm such a comedy store guy, just like you. Two different generations, and I just think about you know this place and the black and red and the red neon and the dark walls and the fucking rock and roll power. And I just wanted to show off that energy up there and to be able to fucking get the respect of my peers like you. That's everything to a guy like me. The masses are great, Let me but, tell to get to, but to get to have the respect of people that I've been watching my whole life that made me want to do this in the first place like you, that's everything. So thank you so much. No, stop it. Stop it. Me and you, we had that talk at the mothership. That's number one. And just, you know, when I'm hearing how you just annihilated, you know, at that roast is... It's exciting for me because, you know, you know you're somebody I dig. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, like me, we share the ego of being the greats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which somebody like Eleanor just doesn't understand because <laughs> she's... You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? 100%. You know, she's just stupid. You know, <laughs> I, I love her. You know, she's with me all the time, but... She's not in here like me and you. Right. Don't I mean, worry about Benji. She he's did, sitting there. He's fine. She, don't worry about Benji. How you doing? Good, but, nice but, to see you. I will tell you, Tony, she did, you know, because I always talk up Eleanor. We did, uh, when did I do it? Uh, like two months ago, we did Carnegie Hall, right? Mm -hmm. Which oh. is nothing to you at this point. <laughs> she destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> she just absolutely destroyed and uh, where are we going? The same place that uh, the Dark Prince is going. Celebrity Theater. Mr. Henchcliffe. Celebrity Theater. Did uh, you do Phoenix. it yet? Oh, yeah. Right. One of the best venues on fucking planet Earth. In the round. Unbelievable. I, I, I got to tell you, Tony. I don't want to say I did it first. <laughs> you know. No, but all kidding aside, I got to tell you this. You know, when, when my career did take off as yours... You've been taken off for a while, but now you're like now it's this good. whole other thing. Yeah.
It, it's big time. It's you get to cover variety. It's big time. That's it. Yeah. I don't want to say <laughs> there was a full on article about me in the New York Times. Oh my God. That that would just be an ego thing saying that. <laughs> so forget I said no, but to get the cover of variety is so unreal. You know, that it feels, I know you felt surreal when you first saw it. Oh, yeah. You know, but right when you yeah. saw it, tell oh, me. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love hearing this. Oh, stuff. my mind was blown. I had like a Tony Soprano style fucking half a panic attack when I <laughs> first saw it. I started sweating profusely. I drank fucking ginger ale. I almost went unconscious. I'm not even like when I it, like, I believe it. it hit me like a ton of bricks the night before. It was actually, I had, I'd seen the picture of the cover and I saw the little white box in the corner where they put the people's addresses and it was just this yeah. little blank white square. And I realized like, oh, oh my uh, God, it's so different than a internet promo or something like that. Right, like right. I realized they were going to be pumping addresses on this fucking thing and sending them out. So exciting. No, it's, you know what? That's the real deal. That's real showbiz. That's it. Yeah. You know, now you just got to keep your head on. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I don't, don't want to say... <laughs> You, but I was the first guy on the cover of Penthouse okay, magazine. Listen, nobody you can't can see, see that. that you can't see it, but we know what it is. Right. We'll find it and we'll put it up. Get it yeah, away. It's no, blinding. No, no. Let me talk to him. Let it me doesn't talk. Doesn't work, but he's got to go. But he's got to do a Zoom. He's got to go. I know. That's I how fucking big he's gotten. They're literally dragging him out of here. It's, yeah, I. I that's yeah. why right. I was so, like, so you got a whole out. schedule now. Well, yeah. I yeah, right, right now, yeah, I have to do the Staples Center tonight and the Forum tomorrow, and then the YouTube Theater Sunday. Jesus, that's See? unreal. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just doing all right. A, Me and you, hey, we'll you have know, a separate but I'm, but I, talk. But I'm sure you did Staples Center and then the Forum the next night, right? I don't want to no, say I that didn't I did do it the first. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did it do it first. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Thank the, God you laughed. The Staples Center wasn't even around. Yeah, it wasn't when, built when, yet. When, when right. no, wasn't no. built, just but the it's forum. Funny. I love that. And I don't want to say <laughs> when I did the forum that Guns N' Roses was on stage with me. Oh, I don't want to. I'm not bringing that part up. Oh, my God. You know. Dice, I love no, you. No, I just, I, I really. This means so you know, much coming. I'm going to let you go. Thank I, you. I don't want to say that I did no, Staples. I'm very happy. <laughs> Staples, the store, not. <laughs> Benji not performed the, in the Staples actual like first, store with next to Staplers. Before everyone. Are you doing that tonight? <laughs> yeah. Are you doing it yeah, tonight? Yeah, I'm in Staples Center tonight. And Tony, and Benji's at That's, Office Max. You know what? I'm, I'm really going to say this from the heart. You know I wish you all the luck. I want you to break both legs tonight and kill it and crush it like you've been doing. And uh, we'll talk again. You're gonna, That's you're, it. You're going to you go. You're gonna pop in on Madison Square Garden. you, you got to peek your head in. As the first comedian to sell it out, I'm the first podcast to sell it out. Let's get it right here on the Comedy Store Whoa. podcast. Wait a minute. Can I, when is no, it? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Oh, when is it? August 9th when and 10th. When is it? August 9th and 10th. Wait, let me talk to my secretary. Okay. Am I around then? Am I in one second? I already checked your Number schedule. two, I got another question yeah. about yeah, that. That's one. Uh, you, do you play drums? Yeah. But... Do you really play them or do you just like... I, I dabble I dabble with it. A lot of people tell me I, I have a natural knack for it. I only practice once a week. Um, but I did just play in Nashville at a couple clubs with Jelly Roll, the current biggest country uh, music star. All right, listen. Eleanor, we'll talk about this off the air. Okay. Okay? I what, what I would do for you at the garden shows. Okay. All you right. know. I like this. And... Uh, yeah, but you know I can't be up there with a bunch of tables. <laughs> I'm dice. Don't talk about them. Well, I mean, okay, <laughs> whatever you want, we'll talk about it. I'm willing to negotiate. Oh, you know how takes. you get the guys like the followers sitting at the table. It's no, not followers. They're not followers. If I'm gonna, they're rock stars. They're huge. Rock All right, stars. listen. If I told you who I well, booked to perform you, tomorrow night, you'd you your mind would be blown. Yeah, but tell me. No, no I, he I can't. can't. Tell you. It's, he, a it's, a, it's a surprise, it's a so we can't talk about it. I got surprise. Yeah. Like surprise guests. Yes. Yeah. All right. I never, we will, I never announced we'll what's going to happen. Yeah. Look, a lot of people don't know 
Me and you have each other's personal phone numbers. All right, that's, that's it. That's He's got to go. <laughs> that's personal phone numbers. You're fired, Eleanor. All right. Um, Guys, you call me. We'll talk open. about the go. I can't wait. Dice. Go break a leg. I love you, buddy. Thank you. Is, you could stay on with love us you if too. you want. Thank you, Dice. Okay, bye, Tony. Right, if you, you want to stay. You're ruining everything. I'm not ruining everything. He's got to go do a Zoom. Go with him. Do He's got to do a Zoom you should for go Netflix. With him. I'm not going to go with him and get in on his Netflix thing. It's for Netflix. Oh. I mean, Netflix so can what? have me. I got to sit here with Benji uh, and look at Benji. Look at Benji. That's it. We're looking at Benji now. All right. We might as well Benji? talk to him for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Benji Aflalo? Yes. We had coffee at Starbucks once with Brody. You got it. Yes. Right. I do remember you. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's one How of my are you? I'm good. How are you doing? It's one of my favorite stories. No, I'm good. Because I was a door guy here. No, but so I always knew to respect. Uh -huh. I always had respect for you for a bunch of reasons. And I go to meet you and Brody, and I get there, and you got you are talking with Brody, and I can tell because I res I have a lot of respect for you, bro. I go, I'm not going to sit down until Dice I remember. You didn't just sit down. I didn't just sit I down. I remember that. And I kid you not, I stood there for like 25 minutes. and This then guy is in the way. Move. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. And then Dice goes, take a seat. And I was like, I fucking knew I shouldn't sit down. I knew it. Yeah. And he said, I, and so I, uh, I waited. So you waited. I'll move the, over. No, we had a good time that yeah, day. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we had did. a good time. Yeah. yeah. Eleanor. I'm moving over so you can Where's, uh, It's easier to see. Tony left. No, but where's the... Oh. Where's, um... Do you like my shirt? What's his face? Which one? Richie. Richie? No. Who? No, the... Benji? The comedian. Tony. Ben no. She's such a... She's so dumb. No, you're she's the dumb. dumbest person. I'm with Benji. He's a comedian. No, I was with Tony. He's a comedian. Yeah. I'm a comedian. Who's been doing the podcast for years? Oh, Rick, Rick, Rick. Rick. Oh, Ingram is in here. You're dumb, Rick. It's daytime. So, Why? Because Rick has children and he has responsibilities. So oh, this, this was a last minute put together because Tony was only available certain times of the day. And Josh Adam Meyer Yeah, and in the meantime, he left. In the meantime, he left. Because Josh Meyer sucked it all up. Thanks, Josh. Right. Where is he? He left. <laughs> He's gone. He's another friend of mine. Yes, he is. Josh Myers. Yeah. How's the weather Comics in New York right singer. now? Where How's is New York right now? What? How's oh. New York right now? <laughs> How's the weather? That's what you want. You want to talk about the degrees outside? I want to know. It's changing. The, the, the... I wasn't going to let you sit down, Benji. <laughs> you know, like, like, like it was probably a very sunny day that day because it was L.A., right? I think so. That sounds right. Yeah. So you didn't sit down and, and we said, oh, look how bright it is out. <laughs> right. Right. Is you, that what you talked so about? The weather? You get day? me up. You, I remember we talked about, you no. talked about, which I thought was interesting, you brought up your, your VHS tape. <laughs> and you said how you already had a little bit of a following from your underground VHS tape. And that way, when you hit, you were you were already kind of ready because you were already doing the road a little bit. I remember oh, I that like story. I like that. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought, right? you, I thought you meant like... I was, doing, I, I was doing a lot of club dates, yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Because you got underground following from that VHS tape. Right. I go to Texas a lot. Mm -hmm. That was the that's the, maybe that's the key shit. Texas. I would go to Texas, Dallas. I would go to New York. I would go to Ohio a lot. Um, where else would I go a lot? See, Texas. I had Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. You know what it's I mean? Huge. Yeah, you got a bunch of cities there. You can and so so I I would sell out club dates. Without anything, really. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. From, well, you're talking about from the Red Fox thing. Yeah, that's the dirty. Uh, but that's how you had a little bit of a following that gave you some chops. So when you hit big, you were ready to go. You had your chops ready. Some people hit big uh -huh. and they're not ready. You right. were ready. No, that's that's why I'm talking to Tony because this is a whole other level. Yeah. No I, matter how famous he thought he was, this is a whole different thing. 
Yeah. You know. That Brady really rule. Is. It could can be I, very can I say this? And I and I I'm I'm yeah. so grateful. Like Tony crushed, but Benji was one of the writers on the roast. So they don't do that without his words. You know what I mean? Like Tony wrote like Tony wrote 90, a lot of his stuff, but you nine percent. But yeah, you wrote a lot on that roast. You I did a lot of it with Tony and with everyone there. It's like kind of like emotional support as a writer too, because people are sure people, people are, are scared. Nervous. Yeah. You got these big jocks, dude, six eight in Super Bowls and all this stuff, right, and right. they are scared. <laughs> and the comics are scared. Every, I was scared for Tony. I was so scared. I get it. I get it. And he killed it, obviously. But I was scared. Have you you you've done roast, Andrew? Have you done roast? Not really. No. Drizzling, Who? Benji. What's that? No, Benji. It's drizzling out a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. No, because you were asking. Now I could. I'm just saying. Okay. What? What? what about roasting? She asked if you'd ever done a roast before. You know what? I never did them on TV. A <laughs> uh, long time ago, Roseanne was like, oh, and Gene Simmons. Oh, I remember that. That wasn't television. Yeah, when I called them the bozo, the clown of rock and roll. Yeah. You know, I got, you sent me a text yeah. at the Adam Egget roast that I got in trouble with you because I made a joke about Eleanor. Oh, yeah, that was funny. And then you told him about the joke and you told me that Dice was mad at he me. He said my face looked like one of your old leather gloves. You remember that? <laughs> and then you, yeah, and then wait, she told me you, you got upset that I insulted your leather. Yeah. You were less concerned. You were, you were, were concerned about Eleanor. my face. Oh. What? <laughs> Oh no! This is the rubber foot guy, right? No, 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 no. Who's no. the rubber foot guy? You, I'm not he even knows getting about into it. it. I don't no, know. No, he doesn't know Did anything you, about it. You date a guy with a rubber foot? No, this is not happening. No, right I now. have a rubber foot. <laughs> we are not going into editing, and he has a rubber foot. Was he All a right. diabetic? No, what no. Was, Andrew okay. has a rubber foot. Oh no, it's got nothing to do with that. Can we? Can, uh, you know what? We can. Go tell get this. me a Coca Cola. Hold on, I'm going to tell him who you think he is. Do you know who Brian Monarch okay. is? Oh, I am not Brian Monarch. <laughs> oh, so, okay. He's the promoter guy. Right. Yeah, the, the guy was bothering me. No. He to was? To do like no. a gig. The guy was texting me. Oh, okay. And asking me if Dice would do his birthday show. So I got mad because he wasn't asking me to do a show. He wanted me to get Dice. So I gave the phone to Andrew and then Andrew was texting him through my phone and tell him what you would say. Uh, basically, I told the guy I'm getting used to my rubber foot. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept writing back, what and happened? I fell, that I fell down an elevator shaft and I had to get another foot. <laughs> And I I wasn't paying attention. I just, we were at a birthday party. Yeah. I had forgotten I gave Andrew my phone. I see. So I turn around and, just and he's wedged this. in the corner, just going. And he's writing things like, I fell down an elevator shaft trying to save this family. But Eleanor will do whatever it takes to get on the show. And did you, you, did remember he book that? you? Did you, remember? you get booked? No, oh, he never called me again. <laughs> did you, have you ever done a never show? He never called me I, again. I, so you I, had been doing a show? And yes. then Eleanor... Eleanor, I do remember. Eleanor will do whatever. <laughs> Stick it up. And he'd write this whole long thing about, I rescued the family. This there was yo yo like, <laughs> has no idea that I'm right. There was a hundred texts. Did and, you ever tell him? Not, I oh, he to, thinks and you're Andrew... right. No. No, you wrote to him, I will do, because I'm using your phone. So you're writing, and I'll do whatever it takes to get on the that. show. I didn't say that to him. No, you were writing but it. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was it. writing it as if I was you. Right, right. But since then, have you told Brian Monarch that it wasn't you? So we, were, we all ran into each other in Vegas, and I said, Andrew, this is the rubber foot guy. And he goes, yeah, no, I'm, I forgot I'm, it. I'm still getting used to my foot. He fucking leaned into it and... Said I was crazy, and he does have a rubber foot. So Brian Monarch thinks you're a liar. Yes, and never has booked me since. And he used to book you. Yes. Oh. But he really booked me, him? I think, to get Andrew on the show. To be honest. Oh. Yeah, because it was like, oh yeah, whatever. Is Andrew around? You know. He's never booked me. You want to hear this? <laughs> yeah. He reaches out to me one day online, and he goes, "Hey." Um, are you Ben? I've been watching your show. Are you Benji from that show? And I go, yeah, yeah. He goes, I love it. I go, cool. He goes, 
are you the Benji who used to pick up phones at the comedy store? Oh. And I go, yeah, I am. And he goes, you actually got me in at that club. You were really friendly over the phone and set me up with Dean. And that's how I started doing shows there. And I go, great. And he like, didn't book like, <laughs> so you've confirmed I've been on TV. You confirmed that I totally helped you in your career. Like your whole career could have gone. And in. you I probably made you six figure. I don't know how much money. Oh, yeah, because he used to produce big shows here in the main room. It still hasn't booked me. And I changed his whole life. <laughs> Well, he don't book me. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Who cares about him? Did, did, yeah, well, did you you're right. talk to Richie about more about comedy, the comedy store shirts? shirts? I did. I did. I told him that you're what gonna, did he say? I said that you're coming in town and he's got to get them ready. Do you like my shirt? Do you remember this? Shirt? Very nice, but it's. You bought this for yes. me. Yes. He bought it for me. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Yes, he did. We were in Ohio. Where? We were in Ohio and we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at the airport. And we bought shirts. And you brought Carrie one and you go, I'll buy you a T-shirt. And I bought two for my brothers. It was Christmas time. He doesn't remember. That's not nice. No, no, I, I spend so much money on you people. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember? What is you people? Yeah, who are you people? That's racist. Who are you people? Just everybody... I think you he know, means like, Gentiles. Uh, <laughs> no, like, uh, <laughs> Do you mean Gentiles for real? I bought, let me let me tell you something. I bought my girlfriend a T-shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You did buy her a cute shirt at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I just can't remember what was on it, but it was good. These are good shirts. But yeah, you know what I got? Wait, 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 you want to show her? Um, no, because it won't, because of the blood. Oh, because no. of the blood. I got her a shirt that said, I got it. I got off the train. I got it from the train. Something like that. No. What? <laughs> it's good I don't that you remember, really read but... it. Yeah. No. Oh, survival of the fittest. No. And it showed. No. No. <laughs> what did it say? Then? Like the Brooklyn one. No. It's, it we, shows a train. Here. I like it though, it's but it's an original kind of shirt. Oh, okay. So it's like an you original know? shirt. And Is it still drizzling or? It's <laughs> something special. How does that sound? That I, sounds nice. I love so it. I you always one. buy nice things for <laughs> Carrie. Yes. He does. Yeah. He's good. I buy aloe for my wife. She yeah. likes aloe. Oh, okay. Benji's married. So he like aloe. She Al aloe no, yoga. Benji. It's fancy yoga clothes. They like the let fancy me, Let yoga. me tell you oh, something about you women. Yeah. Oh, boy. Benji. Mm -hmm. Benji. Okay. Benji. I'm listening. Benji. I'm right here. Hello? With you. Yep. He said yes. Oh. Um, let me tell you something about women. They all, at a certain point, are dry. So they need all of that. Not drizzling. No, with the aloe veras I'm an and the, uh, right. like, you, Eleanor. You mean skin. I, like I think you're talking about skin. Oh, you mean their skin yeah, is dry and they cream. need, yeah, right. Yeah, it's Eleanor. She, she gets like, what is it, the buttercream? Don't say Eleanor's dry on the podcast. That's not cool. A one, I am, it's different. It's flaky. All women ashy. at night, yeah. they do. And Benji, all they do is put cream all over. You understand? Yeah, they like La Mer. You know, you La Mer, see? that's the fancy rich rich girl stuff. La I don't Mer have that. What's that? Comes in a green bottle. It's she like was a, a comic here. It's like 130 bucks just for a little really? fa face lotion. Yeah. That's the fancy. Does, 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 that does Carrie thing? use that? Because Carrie's got his girlfriend's. My good. girlfriend knows about it. She knows I Lamer. don't know about it. I never oh, heard of it. Oh, Eleanor is a vanilla free. Yeah, I like vanilla or a soft sense. I mean, yeah. uh, sweet pea. Smell it. nothing. He's, it's smell not it. like a high class scent. That it's was. not like a La Mer. <laughs> no, it's this is street. Bath and Body Works. I'm still in Bath and Body Works. It, you're, it, you're Febreze adjacent. It's South Philly. It's South Philly. <laughs> it's South Philly. It is South it's Philly. Street oh, level. do you want to you know tell why? him about your brother? It smells like I will. It smells like baby powder sometimes. And if I have the vanilla on, if I oh, wait, sweat, people are like, Who's I have to cookies? say this. Yeah. Eleanor, I got to say this. All right. Oh, no. I'm just going to out my girlfriend what she said to me last night. Because 
I'm scared. You know how I could do the speed shower? Yes, which is dangerous. Right? Yes. Do you ever speed shower? Because I don't like the water. Benji doesn't know. I don't like water just beating on me. He's afraid of it. Anyway, all of a sudden she goes, well, you know, are you, this is hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) Hurry up. Like I'm six years old. I uh, you you she goes, are you washing behind your ears? <laughs> and in the speed belly shower. button. And, no, just she's asking me about my belly button, the bottom of my feet. I'm like, are you really gonna tell a man in his sixties how to shower? <laughs> he has gotten behind my shower. I think it's kind. Of, I think it's sort of a fair line of questioning. Yeah, if, because you've got. If you're hurt. in there only for, if it seems impossible to get to everything, I don't know. If you're going fast, she's worried you're not hitting. You gotta everything. have a rhythm, like I'm a drummer. Oh, you understand? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, I've been doing it for years. You know. He has literally and hurt I, himself in there. What about a bat? I nearly broke my ribs about. What was it, like a year ago you weren't here? That's disgusting. Would you ever take a bath? my girlfriend. Yeah, but not here. Oh, yeah. You do like baths? Loofah? Are you a bath poof guy or a loofah guy? Washcloth? Like a loofah? No, listen to me. (laughs) You'll like this, Benji, because I'm a survivor. (laughs) All right? So, like a year ago, (laughs) she wasn't here for... (laughs) Okay. She wasn't she wasn't here for a couple days and I'm taking a shower. <laughs> and I hate like when the shampoo is empty. Mm-hmm. So I immediately have to get it in a trash bucket. So I'm trying to get it in the bucket and I go up in the air and I crash down on my arm nearly breaking my ribs. So you try to do a jump shot out of the shower with the with the sham- empty shampoo? Is that right? I just I tried to lean over enough to like dunk. I see. Yeah. I see. And like for a long really time, my ribs weren't good. Mm. Terrible. But there was one time he was and showering. And she screamed at me. She should scream at you. He was showering and he was going so fast, he cut his nose. So he had to wear a big Band-Aid. Remember the big Band-Aids from... Yeah, so I take really long showers. And in fact, so right now, me and my wife are trying to have kids, right? Okay. And my semen, my sperm is just okay, as I'm sure you can imagine. Right. And they say the heat of the water is bad for your sperm. And so now I'm taking very cold, fast showers because I'm trying to keep my wow. my body temp cool. All right, listen, listen, Benji. <laughs> you don't want to use words like that against your wife. What do you mean? <laughs> Semen? Or cold showers? Yeah, it's... What words would you use? What do you mean? She knows. We got to go to a doctor together. She knows the. She knows what I got going on. It's not yeah. the worst. It's like C minus. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but there's better things to call it than that. Oh. Oh, I see. Like? You know, like if you say, yeah. You know, my wife knows like my mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. You know, it's, All right. it's got a funnier... He's a he's, he's Jewish though, so maybe. doesn't matter. Right? Okay, so use doesn't more matter. use more metaphor. Yeah, like what I'm shooting out of my stucco stick isn't what right, the doctor right, needs right. to like picking it up. Whatever, I'm very literal. Know? I'm very literal. I guess I could be. Yeah. Yeah. Hot soup. So how Remember long you been one? trying to have this kid? Ooh. What's that? Well, Hot soup. We've been we tried normally for a while, and then I'd say it's been like almost. Eight months, nine months of going through this fertility process. You gotta. That's hard. First, you gotta like. It's a lot of shots in her and appointments and times and. But we're we're there. We actually have an embryo in the freezer now. Okay. So we're we're gonna be okay. It's just this, by the way, is gonna freak him out. And I don't. Oh, I should have used a different. I shouldn't have said embryo. We are not a. What's a good... People talk about it like it's normal to it. <laughs> I got no choice. We tried the normal way. So I got a female embryo in the freezer. <laughs> and we're going to oh, do, an- man. We're gonna do egg. another egg extraction <laughs> in about a week or look, so. Look, look, look. You can't... <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
You like eggs? Yeah, you yeah. like Andrew loves I like eggs. them scrambled. <laughs> scrambled or just a plain omelet. Eggs. He loves yeah. eggs. No, this is a frozen egg. <laughs> this, this is one. a frozen egg on a, in a freezer yeah. on Wilshire. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes, even when you freeze meat, yeah. it has an expiration. Yes. Right, yeah, no. Just remember. Yeah. We're going to try to do something with this egg hopefully soon. Yeah. Look oh, at, God. oh, he hates Listen, it. He hates it. I've been yelling at the stage. It's all fun and games till there's a kid involved. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I true, know. too. Yeah, it's so you hard. You understand right now? Right now, you could do anything with her anywhere at any time. Wait. Wait. I'm 40. I got to have you're, a kid. There's be, nothing, what else am I going to have done all the things? You'll, you'll be... You'll be looking for me at Starbucks again going, <laughs> why didn't I listen and throw the egg out and tell her, <laughs> Throw you the know, egg out. Andrew. Oh, they call it fall. cleaning out the fridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to defrost the freezer and the egg melted, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, God bless you. I'm 40. I got to have at least God one. Bless. Well, I did that, I think. Oh, But he is 40. That's pretty good to wait. I've had a lot of fun, dude. Uh -huh. Done a lot of the things. I haven't done Madison Square Garden. No. I've done Office It doesn't people. matter. It's not about that. It's you not have a great about career. But you don't regret having kids. Aren't you happy that's a thing you've done? Yeah, but that's a long time ago. Right. That's when, that's when you could have kids by a stucco injection. <laughs> I, I've, I've lost Stucco. you. No, no. And that, it, by the way, what Benji's talking about has been around for a long time. So Since like the 80s it started. Right. But now but it's it, more common. and It's way more common I'm not now. Gonna, uh, uh, let's put it in through the fingernails. No, Stop that's it. not a real thing. That's not. <laughs> they it can is. do the turkey baster, but that doesn't work as well. Because mm -mm, it gets, it's too It's big. like one I out can't. of five I'm, I'm chance. Not, but look, it's cheaper. He, he's holding his ear. He doesn't understand it. Let's just it's move on. It's a lot on. cheaper. Let's move on away from kids and let's go to um, comedy. Stand-up comedy. Comedy store. The comedy store. Benji's a comedy store alum. Um, what year right. did you start what, here? Eleanor, oh, don't you have... I, 2008, I, he started. What? Do you want to go? Listen, you can go if you want to go. I have to. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. How long I have we did had this. him? How long did we keep him? Because we, he really wanted to to congratulate Tony uh, and that's Tony. That's great. About twenty minutes. About twenty Tony. minutes. That's, right. that's great. Thank you. And because Tony didn't realize well, he had to leave, so it kind of worked out. And I appreciate you being here. No, but even I did more than twenty minutes. This guy don't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay. He keeps putting things in front of you. Yeah, yeah, I know, because you're over there, so we're looking at you here. It's, it is, it is, we didn't, exp it was a last minute zoom in. Different, right, better right. than a phone I call. I, I told you I can't talk along anyway. Yes, that's his favorite thing to say so, to me. Um, no, I got a lot to say. I'm not going to say it over the airwaves. No, you're right. You don't have to. Well, thank you, you know for the I mean? mozzarella advice, none, nonetheless. Yeah, Benji. He, he likes that. <laughs> he is funny. I like him. He's very funny. <laughs> yeah, the way he does it, like <laughs> slides it in, like yeah. He's I like funny. his style. You good? I he's like. Got, he is good. funny. He's Mad got respect. the same you know glasses what? as Peter. What I meant. Hmm. Well, I, he's got the same sunglasses as Peter Shore. Well, that's up to him. No, I know. He was trying to pretend he was Peter. I I'm like not, yeah, I'm trying to get more respect around here. <laughs> this is the thing. You see my glasses? Oh, yeah. Benji, you, 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 can't, you can't get them. You can't get oh, them. Oh, really? You can't even get them. One of a kind? That's right. Custom made no. or just like... Are they the Alpinas? Are they vintage? That's right. Alpina. Alpina is the brand. You can't get them. That's all. Where are I, they, I where's Alpina? Is that Italian? I'm sure you can get them. I am like my mother was half Italian, so I wear the Alpine. Alpine, Alpine. What's like the that. other one we say? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I know. I was just, you hear the rhythm, what I'm saying? Uh, you know what my grandma says um, about Italians? 
What? She goes, agua bean, agua bean. Agua bean, that's it. Agua bean, agua bean. She goes, they got salt and pepper. Because I think she thinks like all the other... Agua bean, agua bean. All the other Gentiles are like mayonnaise eaters to her. But she goes, oh, oh the Italians have... That's funny. She goes, the Italians have salt I gotta and pepper. I got to let them go. I got to make a call. Okay. Oh. Well, well, thanks for talking goodbye. with us, man. All right. I'm saying goodbye. Okay. To Thank Benji you, and Andrew Ellen. Dice Clay, for coming on the Comedy Store podcast. Later, bro. I will talk to you later. We'll get you your T-shirts. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Who doesn't? XL, double XL. Right, right, right. I'll have Rich. Awesome. My God. So funny. That's so crazy. He's so out of control. I don't even know what to say. I have a I have a PhD in talking to Jews over sixty. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, how do you deal with um, if if you okay? You remember my friend Lexi? I'm not going to say her last. Yeah, name. Yeah, no, I remember Lexi. Okay. So I said her first name. Um, she she was she told him that she was a test tube baby, and he almost melted. Like he did not know where to go. Like. Uh huh. So you're one of them. Like he just, <laughs> and I was like, I, I don't think you could say you're one of them. Like, it was so bad. And of course, she loved it. She thought it was hilarious. But he really can't talk about stuff like that. Isn't that funny? Well, he's from an old school. I guess so. But like, and he's, one of his jokes, if you can't get it from the tap. <laughs> oh, it's like about like. Yeah. So it's like it's it's not real to him. And I go, but it is. She's standing in front of you. I think there's something true to it. Like, even now that I'm spending all this money to have a kid, part of me is like, God kind of doesn't want you to have a kid. <laughs> like, there's a reason I'm small and squeaky and no. my cum sucks. <laughs> my cum sucks. But I got the money to fight God. <laughs> Fuck you, God. Bring it on, God. <laughs> I also think it protected me from... Because when I was a younger man, I, w I would... Sure. So I think maybe a I would A lot of slip-ups. A lot of slip-ups. So I think maybe that was God's way of protecting me from the girls I met at Midwest Funny Bones. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Pauly Shore kids. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were on the road with Pauly, right? Yes. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, also, it's just... it's. But he won't open up. There's certain things he just won't. And then other things he's so... You're like, oh, he's so hip. Does that make sense? Old school, again, I'll bring up my grandparents. Old school New Yorkers are, uh, my both my grandparents. Are both New Yorkers? Bro my grandfather's from the Bronx and my grandma's from Flatbush. Amazing. They both lost their mothers when they were very young. Okay. And they've been together ever, they got, they had my mom when my grandma was 18. They've been together for a 70 years, something like that at this point. And it was a couple years ago, I'm talking to my grandmother and I'm thinking about how they both lost their mother when they were children. Yeah. And I go, hey, did you ever think that um, maybe you and grandpa connected over the loss of your mothers? She goes, I don't know. I go, well, did you ever talk about it? And she goes, I brought it up once and he started yelling. <laughs> and they've been together 70, they never even talked. She goes, it's just- The less just, you know. They don't open up. <laughs> they were from the generation of the less you know. We're the more you know kids. Yeah, yeah. I like that more. I think- To know more? No, say less. less. I agree. It's all about I'm what's understood. If exactly. you understand, I under, my mother died, your mother died, we both Moving get it. On. Why talk about it? They don't live backwards. We tend to live backwards. Like we live in the, oh my God, but this happened to me when I was five and when I was eight, this happened. No, moving on. I also think it's when life is so easy, then you can dwell on something like your dead. True. Because but when life is hard, it's like we got shit to do. We're fucking poor. We live in an eighth story walk up in the yeah. Bronx. My dead mother isn't gonna help me in this situation. That's that. That was technically my uh, like upbringing. We were in a row home, but it's the same thing. It's like my dad left when I was uh, seven or eight, and you know, I I didn't even know where I was gonna sleep, let alone worry about where the fuck he was. So right. we were just, we just had to keep moving, figure it out. Yeah, necessity mm -hmm. proceeds. That's what my mom would say. What? Just, just, oh honey, we have things to do. Like, <laughs> oh honey, don't worry about that, you know. I had a, a girlfriend kill herself and I, I was very depressed obviously. And I tell my mom, she goes, try not to think about it. <laughs> That was my mother's advice. I one time in the I, darkest moment of my life, <laughs> a guy, a guy threatened to kill himself. We were together, and I, I was trying to break up with him, and he wrote me a letter saying he was going to kill himself. My mother goes, "He likes himself too much. Let it go." <laughs> now, what if he would have killed himself? 
Well, <laughs> you would have called your mom and she would have said <laughs> something mean, I'm sure, about him. No, I was a kid. I was living with her. We oh. were in high school. And this, so that's an adolescent, you know, that's, I, I mean, he was a little bit older, but not too much, like a couple of years, but still it was like, he's going to kill. And my mother goes, he loves himself. He's he loves kill. himself? <laughs> he was very cocky. Well, it is some, somewhat. He was in love with himself more right. than he could ever love me, but we Aww. were kids, so it didn't matter. What's he do now? Who cares? He's in Philadelphia. He kills himself. I think you I'm should tell, tell your audience about your brother's retirement. Oh, yeah. My brother Bobby retired. I'm very ex- proud of him. From? Uh, taking numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's great. I was thinking about it. I was like, the party would consist of people missing fingers. Yeah. Not him, because he would be the finger taker. It's like a if wah- you didn't pay your, yeah. It's a Wawa parking lot. But it just- <laughs> Everyone brings a Slim Jim. Yeah. Bring your own Slim Jim. So you're not doing it anymore? Like, I don't mean to make them all sound like dice, but they do kind of, you know. You're not going to take no Like, who am I going to bet with? Like, I could see people getting angry. Like, you got another book for me? I wanted to bet with him. I know. It's I can't believe over. it. I mean, I have a, another guy, but I don't know if he's still... He's got a giant book, though. Bobby it, had a normal size book. In my heart, I'm a degenerate gambler, but I think well, California laws won't let me live my my truth. Uh, are they? Do they have crazy laws? He, yeah, there's no sports about, book here. What? There's sports, but they opened up legal betting in all these states. They won't do it here. I think California's in bed with Vegas. Probably, but th- is there an what? online thing? Can you do DraftKings? Can yeah, but do... that's not like play. That's not like placing bets on games. Oh, I, I want to place bets on games and parlays and fun stuff. You can't do that here. Yeah, I like to gamble and lose immediately. I like the, <laughs> I like slot machines. Like I'm stupid about it. Well, yeah, you smell like a vanilla hooker. Of course you fucking like slot machines. <laughs> Listen, this one's sweepy. <laughs> I think it is sweepy. I got it on the body shop. <laughs> so I look closer. I'm like, you got this at Marshall's. One time, uh, yeah, no, it's it's Bath and Body Works for sure, but I one time I was doing a show with, uh, remember the M Bar? Yeah. Uh, it was great little location. I wonder I what they do. It was great, there. but yeah. No, it, no, it was good. It was, it was fine. It was nicer looking. Like, even if you went, which, and I don't not like the haha, but like, this was prettier. Like, this was a, a more like a, you felt like you were doing something outside of comedy, I guess. Better memories at M Bar than the haha, for <laughs> okay. sure. Okay. Um, but I, I remember, so I was outside me, I was doing a show and Eliza Schlesinger was on the show and she goes, but the, well, you, you smell good, what is that? And then I go, oh, it's uh, vanilla from Bath and Body Works. Oh, there's a lot of chemicals in that. And I was like, there are? And then um, she, it was flashed to like a couple years later. <laughs> I forgot about that. And then she goes, you smell good. I go, it's vanilla. I don't really change. I'm a hood rat from the get and she goes I really I really like how that smells so I brought her one and she was like oh thank you <laughs> cause she's a rich Jewish girl <laughs> but in the nicest way she was like ah so, so it's probably sitting somewhere collecting dust she gave that to a housekeeper for <laughs> sure that's what my sisters are like <laughs> Eliza no. I'll hug my sister and she'll be like ugh and I'm like what she's like are you using dryer sheets and I'm like maybe and she's just like, those cause cancer and blah, blah. No like, way. She judges me on my detergent. I gave my nephew clothes. Because you know your nephews, they want sure. like cool Dodger t-shirts or whatever. Hip shit. She was like, I had to wash your clothes three times to get the smell of Tide out of it. Oh, I use Tide too. Yeah, I, I like Tide. I like Tide. But I don't use the- I grew up on Cheer. I don't know if that was oh, cheap. Oh, boy. Oh, it was great. Well, I had to cheat mom because you know why. <laughs> so we, growing up, we had regular shit. But now th- yeah, she's yeah. been shamed by my sisters to up her game and get organic produce and Fuck. not use Tide. Like now it's all unscented Sometimes stuff. organic doesn't mean shit though. She know that. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. But I think with certain fruits, you do want organic. No, I agree. And I'll look for it. But there are certain fruits like, they say turmeric is man-made and ginger's the better real root. Like, oh, okay. I, don't know. I, I know. You you can't keep up because you're like, oh, you know what I started doing? I take turmeric. And then they're like, oh, that's not good enough. They fucking lied to you. And you're like, you know, and it's just like, oh, don't eat peas. Remember peas used to be good? And it's like, no, peas will kill you. What? Yeah, the goalpost Or it's useless move. or whatever. I try to just make vague efforts. 
But Same. It is what it is. I can't wait to talk. I mean, uh, I'm kidding. I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to go. And I, I do read labels more now. I didn't before. Honestly, if you just avoid like vegetable oils and shady oils, you'll see a huge difference. But also, it's hard to do. if there's a paragraph at the... <laughs> don't get it. Like if it's this long and it's bread, don't. No, no. Right. I try to do the Dave's bread. Yeah, I liked it. I met him in um, in Phoenix. Oh, He's you from did? from Arizona. Yeah, he came to my show. He sold Wait out. Is he like a gazillionaire now? I messed up. No? Not Arizona. Portland. Oh, okay. Portland. I was doing, um, fuck is the name of that club? I think it closed Helium? down now. No, Helium's, this is the other one. Oh. Uh, Polly was at the, the theater. The one Eleanor headlines yeah. at. <laughs> Polly was at the theater. Uh-huh. But this club closed down and I can't, they were so nice and the fucking name it was, they were there forever because Polly, Josh Martin was opening for him, so they came over. That's nice. And Dave's Killer Bread came to the show, nice. and he loved it. And then um, me and the owner of the went to his apartment, and like he's got like a whole top floor of this, but he's amazing. He's awesome. That's awesome. But his whole story is incredible. How he like was in jail and all this shit. That's why it's. Yeah, oh. I, I I hooked him up with Andrew because Andrew was obsessed with him and made a lot of videos about. My my girlfriend makes me get Dave's kill of bread. <laughs> it was like this whole thing. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, it was like silly, but he's a really nice guy. Okay. And he he started making it because it was get bread was getting people sick, like just the, all the shit in there. Yeah. And so he was like, "There's got to be a way to make real bread." And when he was in prison, that's what he would focus on. And then he got out. Cuts him getting ass raped making bread. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm in the middle of something. God. <laughs> Can you come already? Get your mozzarella out of my yeast. sourdough. <laughs> Get your mozzarella out of my sourdough. Wait, can I ask you this? Let's get off a of yeast and... You want to talk about the roast? Mozzarella? Yes. Okay. Ask so, me anything. Ha- yeah. So how did you get a lot of jokes in? I think I did. Um, I think maybe other roasts I got more on. Were you assigned to someone or was it a, a, like a collective? It was. It was a more... I was a little... Other row. This is like maybe the fifth or sixth roast I've worked on. I don't know. I feel like other rooms were less collective, and this was more collective. Like, oh, I find okay. that most rooms I've done, it's more like, all right, go into that room for three hours, kike, and write some jokes. But this was more <laughs> they say like kike. No, they don't. Okay. They don't. Everyone's. It's a Jewish guy. We're all good. I like uh, it. But uh, this was more of like in the room, pitching jokes and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So it was actually a little harder. Um, the people. They put they put me in charge of Tony. They usually will assign a right. They assign writers to different performers. Yeah, and then you're sort of like shepherding their script, making little changes. Sure, kind of in charge of it. But and that, and I, you only got Tony, or did you get other people as well? You still end up getting jokes in on other people's stuff usually because there'll be a giant doc full of jokes, and then yeah. So even let's say Sarah was in charge of. Peyton or whatever. Okay. You know, she, he might be like, I don't like this joke. Help me find another one. And then, right. so she's just trying to find a good joke. There's, sure. For the most part, there's not a lot of like ego of like, I'm going to try to get all my jokes in. Like, you want to make whoever you're trying to help happy. So you're going to go into the dock or ask around, did anyone do this joke and blah, blah, and so, Great. so on and so forth. Yeah. But I, and I also, I noticed like all the writers, you guys all pretty got, pretty got along pretty well. Like it wasn't like a, it didn't seem competitive, crazy, like ego shit. I don't think so. No, no, it's not like that. I think it's a room full of killers and everyone's really funny. So there's no reason to, and if anyone's not funny, you're not going to give them a hard time. Uh, (laughs) So, and a lot of it, like I said, I've done this before. So I think maybe it was a room with like nine writers and I've been in a room with like seven of them. Yeah. Or whatever. Sarah Tiana. Yeah, Sarah, Ray James, Mike Ferrucci. Amazing. um, Jerron was there. I know Jerron really well. Um, so yeah, Rod there's, Horton, by the way. and yeah. everyone, again, it's like a room full of funny people. So there's no reason to be like competitive or whatever. Right. Yeah. You all just want to work and have fun. But I will say that it, that part of it for me, um, showed in the whole thing. Like, yes, they all performed phenomenally, but without that writing, you know what I mean? It doesn't go as well as you think. And everybody seemed to be comfortable with saying what they were saying, which is amazing. Yeah, I think when you're giving people jokes, firstly, you're trying to think like, does this work in this person's voice? Like, right, like you're, you're gonna- so close with Tony, so you know how to write 
for Tony, if you will. Right, yeah. Or or I'm like, oh, Tony can do this and other people can't. And that's yeah. kind of how the, the roast always is. When you're looking at jokes and people are pitching stuff, you're like, oh, that might be good for that person. Or the head writer, Mike Gibbons, who's a, like an unbelievable A+. Plus One dude. of my favorites. So cool. Like, I really credit most of the yeah. writing success to Mike Gibbons because he's just... The, the task of what he has to do as a head writer is insane. Yeah. Um, I met but, him through Adam Egit. Isn't that funny? Yeah. yeah. I think they worked on Norm's sports show together. Mm -hmm. But I just think he's brilliant. Yeah. But to credit the performers, the truth is, is you can give um, someone a great joke and they cannot tell it. That's so true. as much true. as writers want to be like, hey, we wrote the jokes and blah, blah. Like the truth is, is it's, I, I believe a, a lot of the weight is still put on. No, the but performer. it's a camaraderie between both of them. Like it's that person has yes. to feel comfortable. This, the, the, you know, the joke has to work. Yeah, it, it all kind of comes together. And yeah. so, yeah, the, everybody. I, th I mean, I was just thrilled to be sitting there watching it. I'm like a sports crazy person, so I was like staring the whole time at the football players. Like, I wonder if I could tackle him. Like that could, <laughs> I could really take him down. I mean, I could probably catch Randy Moss. I don't see. Dude, I What's just shake. Big deal. I just <laughs> shake Gronk's hand. Oh. I never felt so small than yeah. my hand in Gronk's. That's it, amazing. It was so, I've never felt more like they a baby. Come, they were coming here prior to all this. Edelman, Gronk, like they came here a couple times. And so I didn't get to hang out with Gronk, but I saw him. Uh, Danny Amendola was here, but he's a Ram. So I'm like, you know, I see him as a Ram, not a Patriot. Mm -hmm. It's gross. And I hate the Patriots. So at the whole time I was like, I hope Tom Brady falls. I hope he falls. You like the Eagles? No, I like the Rams. Oh, you're a Rams, Rams person? Fan. Yeah. It, really? Uh, don't start. Yes. How'd that happen? Eric Just... Dickerson. Is, uh, okay. So everybody, so we have the one TV. I have six brothers. And then, so we had to watch everything. It's like a sports book way before I knew what a sports book was. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize my brothers are gambling and all that shit. To, I mean, I knew they were doing it, but I didn't realize they're like taking bets, whatever. And so we had every game on. And so we watched college and SMU, the Pony Express, Eric Dickerson. When And when he went to the Rams, we just became Ram fit. Me and my brother, Bobby. Oh, so that's great that they moved here and you have your team Well, here. and then I moved here and they moved to St. Louis. Like uh, this. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, did you guys know I'm coming? I don't understand. And then, but I still stayed a Rams fan, even when they went there, because then it became Marshall Falk, you know, the greatest show on turf. And then it was right. just, this, it just, so I follow the players. It's the same with when Larry Bird went to the Celtics. I still root for the Celtics. I'm still a big Celtics fan. Mm -hmm. And it was because me and my brother Johnny were butt heads over Magic and Bird in college. So it all usually starts from college and then wherever they go. Of right. course, I root for the Eagles, go birds, but and I root for all the Philly teams. But my favorites are the my other favorites are the Red Sox, the Celtics, and the Rams. <laughs> do you miss Jared Goff? Do you, do you would you prefer him to Stafford? My mom, oh, I would make her watch. Uh, I made her watch a Minnesota Monday night game. Rams, uh, Minis Rams, Minnesota, and Jared Goff was playing, and she wasn't paying attention. And, I, and it was a very high scoring game. I mean, it was way over overs. It was in the hundreds. It was crazy, and as a, adding together. And so I was like, "Oh my god, this is insane!" And they kept saying Jared Goff, Jared Goff. And my mom looked up and she goes, "Why do they keep calling him a jerk off?" <laughs> and I go, "What?" And she just kept hearing Jared Goff, Jared Goff. And I was like, "She goes, it sounds like jerk off." Uh, no, I think he did great, you know, this last year. But uh, no, I don't miss him. You don't he's miss a, him? I think he's a choker. Really? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. He's, he wasn't my favorite. He was doing great. And then he just, uh, he's kind of a sissy, but they all are lately. And that's, you can blame that on Tom Brady. And I, there wasn't enough jokes for me about Tom Brady and his, uh, you can call him gay and you can call him all that all you want. But the, the fact that... The cheat, there wasn't enough cheating jokes for me. There wasn't enough. I'm just kidding. There were so I'm many. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I was it's not say. enough. It didn't hurt enough. And so, um, but I'll tell you something funny that happened afterwards. I was in the back and I was walking with Lisa Traeger and we were trying to find, like she wanted to say hi to Julian Edelman. And I go, oh, uh, let's go because he might, rem you know, I talked to him a couple times like before this and blah, blah, so he might remember me. And um, I said, so we can start the conversation that way. And she goes, yeah, let's go. And we saw Robert Kraft. And so I was like, ugh, this cheater, right? This scumbag because he's the, he's the hire that really changed things for Brady. But anyway, uh, so I was like, and, and I looked at him and he went, and I was like, 
hey, like I was completely thrown off. And then I go, this pervert, right? And he goes, come here. And he gave me a big hug and kissed me on both Robert cheeks. Robert Kraft? Swear to God. That's awesome. Traeger was right there. And she goes, and then I, she goes, you know him? I go, no, this is Lisa Traeger. It's very funny. And I'm Eleanor. And he goes, yeah, yeah, you're Tom's sister. He thought I was one of Tom Brady's sisters. Oh my God, that's <laughs> I great. Did not know. I was like, this guy's a pervert. He doesn't know where he is. He he doesn't know who anybody is. I love that. Yeah, it was great. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe. And then I'm like, what do Tom Brady's sisters look like? Is this an insult? I don't, don't want to be related. No, I'm kidding. They're probably good looking. He's good looking. Rob, because I just did so much um, Tom Brady research, his sister married Kevin Euclid. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think I did know that technically, but I forgot about it. I think Jeff Danish said that to me because I told him what happened with Robert Kraft. Mm -hmm. And I think Jeff did just say that to me and I didn't know either. I never got to it, but because it's all like, I'm just writing like racist Jew jokes all day. Of course. Constant. I was like, how do I get like a Jew joke in on Euclid and his sister? <laughs> or just like, yeah. Yeah. But, I but then I going after the one. family is tough. Right, right. Like it, it, it just makes a weird turn. And then I, that's why I kind of liked how they just stuck to like Tom didn't go after his kid. Yeah, I mean, look, the wives, the girls are always, you know, on display. Anyway, um, well, I think you did a fabulous job. Thanks. And I'm excited for you. And yeah. do you, I hope I win an Emmy. Yes, wouldn't that be great? Because first yeah. of all, people love it. People are freaking out. People I are gave the sweater. It. I gave the Tom Brady sweater to my dad, and he's like, "I wore it to Whole Foods, and everyone's talking to me all the time." <laughs> what? What is this? What do you mean sweater? Like they give you the the swag after when you work oh. on something. So I gave him like the Tom Brady rose sweater. Got it. And then Got he wore it. it to Whole Foods a few days ago. I love him. And then everyone at Whole Foods is like, "What? How'd you get? Oh my God!" And they're like quoting jokes to my dad, and he's just like, "Oh, my son drew it." That. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have a real thick accent like that? I don't know why I mocked you. A little mimicked bit, you. a little bit. Mimicked you. Do you do it harder because you hear it a different way? Um. Yeah, I think mine is more like traditional Israeli accent, and his yeah. is not quite as that. Rough, okay. but, but he's got a little bit of one. But it's charming. It's not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not well, he like, grew up in New York? My dad? Yeah. My dad's from Morocco. Oh. Then he went to Israel and did you know what in wars. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then he moved here and... Uh, what you know what? I jumped out of planes and oh, fucked Jesus. people up. Oh, I my assume. God. When I was a kid, you always Well, asked, he was in the Israeli army. Yeah, he fought in That's two amazing. wars. That's amazing. Yeah, my dad fought in two wars. Oh. When you're a kid and you're like, did you ever shoot anybody in war? You'd be like, I kicked and punched people. <laughs> like, okay. That's interesting. My dad was a Marine. I'd be like, did you ever shoot anybody? Yes, I did. Girl. <laughs> I shoot each other. That's weird. That's, I mean, he certainly did tell me that. <laughs> I think my dad was like in like a crazy, like he was a paratrooper. I think you have to be yeah. like pretty serious to be a paratrooper. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So maybe he had to be, be more. Yeah, my dad was ready for the fight. He joined Marines. We're allowed to kill people? Cool. Let's, where do I sign up? Yeah. <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, thank you for coming on. I'm yeah. sorry it was all Miss Bumble. But no, I think it's organic fun. and fun. Yeah, yeah. Went from Tony to it's Dice to whatever. It's such the comedy store. Yeah. Everything just goes how it goes. That's why when the camera sucks, there was a laptop I'm just like, on oh, a table for a while. Of course. It's so funny because <laughs> they hire people at the comedy store and give them like real people wages. And then they're like, look at me. I'm a person with a job doing business stuff. <laughs> And then, of course, it's like there's cameras behind wires yeah. and, and yeah. Dice is yelling. It's like, you can't take the fucked upness out of anything. No matter story. what. It will always be a thing. You can put all the plants you want. Give everyone the money. <laughs> give them the things. Act like, oh, he used to work at Arnie Morton's and now he's here. <laughs> it's always going to be a problem. Arnie here. Morton's. <laughs> That's great. Um, well, where can people find you? Like online stuff? Do you have online, I've got uh, my podcast on, yes. on YouTube and Spotify and Apple. It's called the Fat Benji Podcast. I'm about to record one with Ari Shafir. You're in, not in, fat. In, in a couple hours. Thank you. That's the that's the, the thing. Got it. And now, now I feel okay. skinny. Um and God, um, yeah, I'm so on Jewish. Go I'm ahead. on uh, Instagram and all the things. I post a lot of clips from the thing, but yeah, follow the Fat Benji podcast on YouTube or Apple or Spotify. Say mean things, say nice things. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm, you're. This I mean, Rick always say that. Write a comment. Mean. We don't care if it's mean, hateful, funny, loving, whatever. Post it. My life is a void. It all helps, and yeah. we don't feel anything. Yeah. We are as disconnected as Kim Kardashian. We do not feel anything. Right? She not didn't a, feel that. They were throwing things at her. She didn't feel any of it. No, I felt kidding. so bad for her. Yeah, but she leaned into it. She shouldn't have got booed. She leaned into it. 
Listen, you put yourself out there, shit happens. I want to say this on behalf of her. There's too many athletes there. They were nervous. They didn't want her to mess up their careers. It's a room full of mass holes. That's what that was. Those are the type of people who, who oh, boo. I'm sorry, Kim's not a mass hole? They, they, they boo. She has a mass hole. You don't boo the most famous Armenian slut in history. No, you listen. applaud her. No. She's our modern Marilyn. You don't boo her. <laughs> but it's, yeah, she is. She's He's Marilyn. Scotiad. What do you mean? She's not Marilyn. I didn't say she is Marilyn. She's I said not she's our, our modern Marilyn. Marilyn. No, she's not a modern Northeast Marilyn. Northeast Fader. Northeast Fader. Yes, Anyways, I want to tip of the cap to her because no, I agree. to start off with booze and then and turn, she just weighed it. turn those booze into applause and she, laughter. And then she got laughter. But again, the writing, because she was just reading it yeah. and completely disconnected. And it's, it's uh, but she... Leaned into it. I loved it. She I did thought, it. wow, she gained my a lo- she She's gained a slight bit of respect from me. All the blood in her brain goes to her pussy and asshole. <laughs> so she did as good as she can do. So we should congratulate her. <laughs> she's a lawyer, isn't she? I'm yeah, kidding. she's yeah. a lawyer. Marilyn. Because she has blonde hair. Stop it. Stop it, yeah. Marilyn. She's our modern Marilyn. Of course she's she is. She's not. Yes, she, who's our modern Marilyn? We don't have one. No, it's her. There isn't one. There's she's no, completely no. changed the culture of women and the way girls act and dress and Ugh. everything. Is what it is. A small percentage of women no. that, are, that have no soul. Uh, no, That want to build themselves, that won't do a squat, would rather buy an ass. Girls that don't smell like vanilla car freshener. Listen, this like, is a good fucking... <laughs> It's sweepy, motherfucker. Vanilla doesn't come out till Christmas. Sweepy. That sounds like together. sounds like a racial slur you it use is. in South Philly. We got a lot of sweepies in front, if in you know back. what I mean. <laughs> we mix it in the back. <laughs> anyway, you're the best. Love I love ya. you. Thank you for coming on. Thanks Benji Aflalo, me. please follow him. Watch, listen to his podcast. He's hilarious. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to watch um, No Country for Old Women. We still, it's moving up, moving up, moving up. So I greatly thank you for watching and commenting and all that. You're awesome.